Well, journalists are saying tonight that Trump's rhetoric is placing them in physical danger. Time to give them special status, safe spaces in the White House briefing room. Jeff Mason writes for Reuters, is the current president of the White House Correspondents Association. He joins us now. Jeff, I, I, I'm not making the case that journalists ought to like Trump. He's attacked them a lot. He doesn't like them and says so. Um, but I wonder if you're a straight news journalist covering the news, why you'd insert yourself into the story. And that's what you see on a lot of the other channels. People who are just you know, non-opinion people talking about themselves and basically showing their, their cards, showing their animus toward the president. How's that helpful? What examples are you thinking of? Well, I mean, you, you saw it on the clip we just played from CNN, where one of their foreign correspondents said basically what Trump said today makes our job more dangerous, empowers ISIS. I mean, that's a ludicrous statement. There's no evidence to back that up. That's not reporting. That's emotion. And it discredits the person who said it. But it, the president used an emotional tweet For to sure. criticize a working, did. a working journalist. So I think that's probably what leads working to... Working journalists might be a little strong, but a, t a TV host, sure, yeah. She's a journalist. Yeah, she, okay, yeah. fine. Yeah, and I think that leads to putting journalism in the crux of the story. I think There's any no good journalist would prefer not to be the center of the story. I certainly would, would prefer to be writing about the news, asking about the policy, writing about the substance of what a White House is doing, but the president creates news with his tweets, as you two were just discussing. So I, as I just said, the president doesn't like journalists, but straight journalists probably shouldn't say in public they don't like the president or give that impression because that undercuts their role as an objective observer of the news. And yet, no one seems to be reining them in. And I think it's doing damage to the perception that the press is objective. You, you think, think it's doing damage when... When reporters show how they really feel about a politician they're supposed to be covering objectively. And they are. And nobody is saying anything about it. And I wonder why. Well, and you and I have talked about this before. I think it's important for consumers of news to know where they're getting their news. If you're watching a, an opinion show or a commentary show like yours, or watching a show that is a straight news show, if you're watching television, or if you're getting your news from a newspaper or a website or a news agency, I think that's very important. And I think if you are a reporter who works for a news organization that is, or a show or a newspaper, whatever, uh, that is a straight news organization, absolutely. You should be neutral and you should report the news neutrally. Do you think Trump's tweets this morning put foreign correspondents in danger abroad? I don't know. I, I can't answer that. I think that uh, the White House was asked about that. Sarah Sanders, I think, said uh, the President Trump, of course, does not encourage violence. But um, I, I think that the world is watching. I think the world does watch and listen to the rhetoric that President Trump uses. So do you think ISIS will now conclude, you know, we, we kind of like journalists before, you know, American English speaking journalists, but now we don't because Trump doesn't like them? I'm not qualified to speak as what ISIS is thinking about. But would you agree that's one of the most ludicrous suggestions ever uttered on television? I think yeah, I'm not going to take an opinion on that. I'm going to say I think people are listening to what the president says and what he writes <laughs> and what he does. He has the biggest bully pulpit in the world. Right. And that has an effect, words matter. So what does that mean exactly, it has an effect, words matter? You mean that journalists will be physically imperiled because Trump doesn't like them? I, I can't answer that, Tucker. I don't, I don't know well, what, what the saying? effect is going to be. Uh, what I'm saying is the president, when he criticizes journalists, others are watching and seeing that. Whether it's a foreign leader in China, whether it's a, a, a person in a country who doesn't believe in press freedoms, they look at the United States as an example on how press freedom so, works. So let, let, last and question. They look, at, I, they look and they see what the president does, and that has an impact. I, I, it's debatable. We don't know whether it has an impact. We don't know what the Chinese are saying. You know what? I, we're going to clamp down further. We're going to do another deal with Google to clamp down on press freedom because of what Trump said. Really quickly, do you think when the president says the press has personal animus toward me. They don't like me, and it makes me mad. Do you think he has a point? I think that any president probably is going to be unhappy with his coverage. But do you think it's, he's making a fair point? Do you think the press doesn't like him? When he's making, when, I think when he says he's unhappy with his coverage, that that is a legitimate point to make, absolutely. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure.